Today we are in the search for edible mushrooms, and boy do we find some. We lose track of time, must have been out there for like 4 hours. We get lucky and find cauliflower mushrooms, chicken of the woods, and the chanterelles. We even find a rare white chanterelle. Then we take them home and cook them. Continue to watch for the details and the adventurous off-trail walk in the woods. Hello Dallies. darlings! It is that magical time of the year here in the PNW. We are in Washington state. With the rain comes fungi. And today we're on the lookout for chanterelles. Our family friend is taking us to an undisclosed location and we'll have them introduce themselves. Hi there guys, sorry about my voice. It's a little bit scratchy, but um, I'm here with Mina and her mom and we are in the forest. My name is Daniel Yaden and uh, my channel is uh, Curiosity Cave. I'm here with my grandpa, also Dave. Yeah, I'm his grandpa. Let's go get some mushrooms. Last year there was just all in here. Chanterelles? Yeah. Looks like a nice little cave. And there was all these little golden chanterelles coming up. When it was snowing, it was so beautiful. It was snowing when you were picking it? Yeah, in the <gasps> summer. Woohoo! Found our first edible mushroom. Oh, I didn't even have to use a knife, it just came right up. So that is the first chanterelle I have picked this year. Cheers! So there's three different kinds of chanterelles in this forest. There's golden, which these ones are, and there's white, and there's kind of one that's in, in the middle. But they all have um, gills that go all the way down to the base. So as you can see, Right here, they just come down to the face. Just to show some contrast, the gills of a portobello mushroom are brown and thin. Kind of looks like the pages of a vintage book. With chanterelles, the underside looks wrinkly with a lot of forks. For extensive details, we recommend reading mushroom guidebooks. There are toxic fungi out there, so eat only if you have properly identified the safe species. Dan was telling me when he finds a chanterelle, he will look within like a 15 feet, 20 feet perimeter. You know where to go? <laughs> okay, I just found a cauliflower mushroom and it is huge, so. <gasps> and we have a little friend here in for the buffet. Last year I made meatloaf out of one of these and they taste like noodles and they're really actually a really good mushroom. Wow. It's bigger than your face. <laughs> wow. And these can get 10 pounds or more, so this is a small one. <laughs> wow. Oh, just look at this. <sighs> smells fungilicious. So I know you call it like the cauliflower mushroom, but it also looks like kale. You just drop it in the bag. While we focus on finding chanterelles, we admire other fungi along the way. Here are some polypores growing on a big polypore. That is cool. Teeny white coral mushrooms. Then came across yellow coral mushrooms. Dan was just telling me last year over here, he found 30 chanterelles. As we're walking through this path, we see a deer poop. And I just learned from Dan that a deers love to eat chanterelle. So it could be there to clear that area up. Honestly, if all we find is that cauliflower mushroom, I'm happy. I'm so full. My heart feels so full right now. How did you find that? There's another one right here. You have laser vision. There's another one here. Wow. That white patch next to the chanterelle is mycelium. Okay, that goes in the basket. This looks like cobwebs, but that is mycelium. Ooh. He just bruised it and it's turned blue. Super, it looks spongy. It changes color so fast. A lot of teeny white ones scattered along the trail. Oh, what are those? Some kind of fungus. It's hard. Guess what? 
tons of more chanterelles. Oh, there's more over there. Oh, wow. There's some hidden in, under that moss. Gotta watch my step because along the way, I might step on some, right? We don't want that. it up right now. This one looks like a twisty one. Okay. This one looks a little old. Right? It looks a little soggy. Do you think it's still edible? Yeah? Okay. There's another one. Ooh. A baby one. That's a teeny one. That's a big one. Whoa. A little acorn dropped on it, and then a moss is hugging it. <gasps> this is big! <laughs> it looks like a flower! How beautiful is that? That's our biggest one yet. Exciting. But when you cook it, it does shrink a lot. Guys, we just found chicken of the woods. Actually, Dan found it, but then he told me, can you spot it? And then, yeah, after that I saw it, but he really found it. <laughs> I cut it three weeks ago, so it has grown a lot. Uh, I'll do this one, you see that one. You want to cut it about right here. We don't want to cut off the whole thing. We want to cut around like this ring here. We want to leave some so that it'll continue growing. Oh, it's quite firm. Okay. Wow. <gasps> Ooh, it's a yellow on the bottom. Guys, I have been waiting for this moment. Ever since I learned about Chicken of the Woods, I was dreaming of finding this in the woods. And here we are, one year later. Dreams do come true. <laughs> I'm being like really cautious right now. Okay. Is that sharper? Okay, I'll just give that a shot. Thank you. Ooh, it's got some weight to it. Thanks, David. Oh, I thought it was two layers, right? It looks like two floors, but it's actually merges into one. This is one whole piece together. These areas right here will fan out and grow again. Um, I cut this three weeks ago, and it's kind of growing the other way. So it'll start coming up this way now. Ooh, oh, look at our basket so far. I've never forged that many mushrooms before. Thanks to you, Dan. <laughs> I'm gonna brag for a second. I finally found a chanterelle before Dan. <laughs> it's right there. How do we get to it? <laughs> so, um, I just fell, but. I'm happy because the mushrooms are still in the basket. <laughs> oh, and I'm okay too. <laughs> this 
This chanterelle has a belly button. It's an innie. Check it out. And there was... There, the, that is the hugest one we saw today. That chanterelle. Okay, we're gonna get to that. But mommy -o, she's got a harvest. Mommy -o found this one, so congrats. Oh, that is so beautiful. <laughs> oh, it looks like it has a nipple. It's so cute when the moss is still stuck on them. Like this one, look, the moss is hugging it. Wow, compared to my hand, look at that. Ooh. Oh, it's pretty big. <laughs> it's on the white one, right down here. So you're saying this is rare? Mm -hmm. so. Wow. Oh. Nice. Oh my, wow. Look at this harvest. We must have been out there for three to four hours. Time went by so fast. My jeans got so dirty. It's all good. It's a sign of solid quality time spent with mother nature. A just cooked chicken of the woods, or at least I tried to. I cooked it and a lot of the pieces were still tough. So Mommy O is gonna take over. And what's your plan? We thinned it out, Mommy O shredded it, and then I sliced it. So we're gonna put some uh, sesame oil. All right, so this is coconut amino. Mommy O mixed it up and then sprinkled on a bunch of sesame seeds. It does have the texture of chicken but the dry part of the chicken. <laughs> like chicken breast texture. Chick dry the chicken breast. <laughs> <laughs> but the flavor is good. Um, tastes like sesame oil and coconut amino acid. And Dan was telling me he puts it in like um, fajita. Oh, yeah, with other uh, cooked vegetable, that would be good. If you wanna substitute chicken, this could be used as a vegan option. Mm -hmm. Later, I added chicken of the woods to my curry, mixed the ingredients, and microwaved it. The firm mushroom softened, and it became very enjoyable to eat. In retrospect, we should have cooked it a little longer until the moisture evaporated. It's all good. Wait, what did you put in this? A little bit garlic, salt and pepper, a little bit, that's it. <laughs> so good. Chanterelle. <laughs> so, so good! good yeah. I mean, I had this before. Oh, but I think last year when we had it, it wasn't a lot. It was just a few small pieces. But this time we have like an abundance. So it's like, ooh, you really feel it. So some of you might not be able to forage chanterelle. Mom Yo recently saw chanterelle at Costco. So if you're near a Costco, maybe you could find it there. As for the remaining chanterelle, I dry saute them. Then add a thin slice of butter. High five! No extra moisture this time. Gonna eat these tomorrow. Let's cook the cauliflower mushroom. I had to step away for a few days to go on a filming trip. Mommy O kindly cleaned and cut the cauliflower mushroom while I was gone. So thanks, Mommy O. Similar treatment as the chanterelles. First, dry saute. Then add a thin slice of butter. For the first round, I just cooked it very simple, added butter and a teeny bit of olive oil. Didn't even add any salt. So it is noodle-like, but with a slight crunch. I would love to put this in a soup. Are you confident? <laughs> mm. <laughs> How do you describe it? The best. <laughs> and the first. <laughs> Wow, you didn't put anything here, huh? Oh. Butter. Oh, butter makes better. <laughs> yeah. As for the rest of these pieces, let's make an omelet. 
two eggs and throw in the cauliflower mushroom bits. Sprinkle on salt, pepper, and garlic powder. But omelette is usually not broken up like this. <laughs> I had to break it up because um, I didn't think the egg and the cauliflower mushroom were gonna be done at the same time. So I just started like mixing it up. Let's try it. Three, two, one. Mm, it's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. It just tastes eggy. If you want to add more flavor, maybe you could put some sriracha sauce. Yeah, I have it. You could also add in sesame oil, soy sauce, or coconut amino. Mm, dress it up however you like. Just like you do with omelets and scrambles. I like it a lot. I hope we find another cauliflower mushroom. We want to eat everything we cooked. However, it is advised that the first time you try a mushroom, don't eat too much of it, just in case you might have a bad reaction, even if it's an edible mushroom. So we ate enough, and then we'll wake up tomorrow and see how it affected our body. Probably we're gonna be okay. So yeah, more to eat tomorrow. Thanks so much to Dan for taking us mushroom hunting. Remember to check out his YouTube channel, The Curiosity Cave. If you're a fairy and that fills up with water, that could be a nice swimming pool. <laughs> I think I want to dry it and put it in my office, like as a de decoration. I love going through nature like this, where there's no like apparent path. But as a female, you know, I'm not like the most bicepalicious person, so it's like kind of scary for me to do it alone. But doing it as a group, lots of fun. We found a couple small ones. There's one right there. One. Whoa, how did she even see that? How do we even cut that? Oh, I guess we'll have to get from the side. That's one. Chanterelles, I tend to see them around the. Oh, this one's got a butt. <laughs> There's another one over there. I can't see because of my hair. <laughs> there we go. Kind of broke it, but still got it. If anyone asks me, Mina, where have you been today? Just look at my pants. It's wet. It's dirty. <laughs> How does my butt look? Good. <laughs> it's, it's not dirtier than the front? <laughs> oh, when you stepped in it, it became a hole? This tree has some earrings. Polypores. 